I'm working on this Honda Accord 2013. You got an oil leak on the valve cover gasket here. You can see right here, oil is leaking out from it. So what I'm gonna do today is replace the valve cover gasket. Okay, so we got this valve cover right here. Let's start taking some parts off the car. Um, what we're gonna do first is, let's start with this. This you can just pull right out. There we go. You see it? Just pull it straight out. Next, let's go ahead and take the screw out. So you got one, two, three, four, five. It's 10 millimeter. this out make sure you don't lose these bolts next let's unhook this it's a clamp there you go push this right here slide it out get this out because this O2 wire is connected onto this bracket with the valve cover. All right, there we go. This wire, crispy. Ooh. Okay. While we're at it, if we want to, we can go ahead and change the spark plug. I would. Well, cool, that's that. Let's unclip these. There's a clip right here. Just clip it and pull it up. Push this clip down. Slide out. Push it down. Slide out. Push the clip down. Slide out. Same thing. Slide out. So that's that. Same thing. Number 10. Right here. Core pack. Let's take that out. Make sure you leave the bolt wherever you remember is for the coil pack. Okay. Pull out the coil pack. Just straight up, wiggle a little bit and pull it straight up. Okay, that's that. Now we got this over here. Nia Needle Nose Fire. Push this out over here. Got that out of the way, that out of the way. What we do next is go ahead and unclip this alternator. Push the button, pull it out. And then there's an AC down there. So we're gonna do the same. Push the button, pull it out. 
it's pretty hard to get to there so I'm probably going to use the tin just to take this one out so I can't unclip it Right here is the alternator power wire. Be careful. I want to go ahead and uh, disconnect this, but be careful. Don't let it touch anything because that's a uh, power. If I'm correct, this be a 12 socket. Yes, it is, it's a 12. Like I say, this is power, be careful. You don't wanna to touch anything on the car, it will spark. You can disconnect your battery, but I'm not gonna do that. Cause I don't wanna redo everything. So here's the 12, take this out. What I'm going to do to be safe is pull this out. I'm actually going to take tape and wrap it around so it doesn't touch anything. So this side won't touch anything. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, next, let's do this hose. Let's take off this hose. Be careful though. Okay, that's out. What else here? This hose back here. Clean it right here. Let's take this one out. Slide back, there you go. It's easy. Okay, that's that. Now let's start taking the 10 millimeter bolts all around it. Okay, now let's take the valve cover bolts off. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's gonna be 10 millimeter also. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, 
I usually lay out somewhere so that way you know which bolts go where. So that's what I do. I go like this. One. Two for the front. Now this valve cover should come right off. Oh my, oh my. Should get a little bit wiggle. I'll cover off. Oh man, this thing is dirty. Check out this leaf back here, hidden. Look at all this oil back there, sneaking everywhere. Like I said, if you haven't changed your spark plug, now is the best time to do it. I mean, it'd be so easy. So make sure when you clean all these, wipe it out toward, away from the head, away from inside the engine. That way all the dirt and everything can go out. From here, you just wipe it that way. Wow. Yes. Yeah, very dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all these. Everything is clean around the edge, everything looks good. Make sure nothing falls into the engine because if it do, I'm sorry, you might be screwed. But right now, everything looks perfect. 
I'm the only one working here. Nothing gone fine here. So we are good to go. Time to go get the gasket. Okay, here's the valve cover. Look how dirty it is. So, what we got here is the gasket. It goes all the way around. The gasket, it was stuck on the car already. So I already took it off the car. And we need to replace this valve cover gasket for the spark plug, one, two, three, four. And how you do that is to take it apart is right here. These bolts, they are Star T20. So I don't know if you can see this here. It's a star type. Star T20. Go ahead and take it out. Okay. Get they both out. I'll show you the way to take it off. The easy way. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this, hit it down, so push it down, and then the valve cover, spark plug gasket gonna come off. So just push it down. That's the easiest way to do it. And there you go. It's off. That's how easy it is. So go ahead and do the rest. Two of them. One, two, three. And I'm gonna go wash this after I take all these out. I'll be back with the new gasket. Okay, just got back clean the valve cover. Check it out, it's clean looks much better and then I pick up the valve cover gasket you can see here and these are the gasket washer for the bolts and then I pick up the silicon gasket maker because um, on these two edge I'm going to show you usually around these corner Right here, um, depending on how it sit, you're gonna have to put some extra silicon so that way it won't leak oil. So let's go to the car, show you example. So we're gonna have to put some right there in that spot and back there in that spot. And then come around here Usually, they put some right there and right there. You can see the the factory have it right there. Or it's right there. So those are the four spots we're gonna have. One there, one here, just a little bit. One there, and one back there. Okay, I finally got it done. Took a second, but it's on good. So what I'm gonna do next is get this silicon and I'm gonna put it on this edge. 
and uh, factory does that too. Is um, these corner are the weak link. They usually leak. So I would put some here, some here, some right here, and right here. And then next, when I'm gonna tie it on the car, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm tied it starting from right here. I usually tie between seven to 10 foot pound, give and take. Um, you can feel the snug on it that is pretty tight. You don't want to tighten it too tight or you know you can break a bolt or something. So this is where I start. I start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's it.